This is how to properly put the weather sealing parts on your Tapo Color Pro outdoor camera. I'll be showing you how to do it whether you're connecting through Wi-Fi or through Ethernet, since it's a bit different for each. And here are the two connectors we'll be waterproofing today. And now for the parts. Here's the waterproofing jacket, the waterproof ring, the plug, the O-ring, the fix nut, and the waterproof seal. A closer look. The ring can be split on one side and the plug has two flanges that further aid in waterproofing. They're both soft. And this is the threaded fix nut. The waterproof seal is made of translucent silicone. Now that you know the parts, here's the Ethernet cable I'll be using to demonstrate the entire process. First, you want to check if the cable works and clicks right in. Once you're satisfied, remove it. Now it's time to put on the parts in the proper order. First is the fix nut. The threaded part should face the end of the Ethernet cable you'll plug in. Next is the waterproof ring. But you don't actually want to put it on yet unless you want to struggle aligning it all in the end. What you actually want to do next is to to put the O-ring in the camera's network interface, which is basically its Ethernet port. Speaking of Ethernet, once the O-ring is in place, you can plug it right in. Afterwards, secure the waterproof jacket in the bayonet mount, making sure to compress the O-ring. Check if it's secure, and once it is, you can move the waterproof ring close to the end of the waterproof jacket. Pop it right in, making sure not to snap off any of the thin legs. It'll take some pressure because the soft material will push up against the plastic walls to provide waterproofing. And finally, you can slide the fix nut in and rotate it to the right to tighten it against the waterproof jacket. After that, inspect your handiwork. Make sure everything's nice and tight so water can't get in. And now for the power connectors. We only need one part, the translucent waterproof seal. Just slip it right on. Don't be afraid that the diameter might look smaller than the plug. Remember, tight is good for waterproofing this camera's connectors. Here's how it should look. Now plug it in, making sure to compress the seal a good amount. The connector shouldn't feel loose at all. Check the plug at an angle so you can see if the seal has 360 degrees of coverage around the connectors. And now you're done. But what about a Wi-Fi camera setup, which is what most people would probably use? First off, have the O-ring tight against the network interface, like so. Then, get your waterproof ring and plug out. The plug is what takes the Ethernet cable's place, so pop it in by opening up the ring a bit as shown here. Then, pop the two in the threaded part of the waterproof jacket until it's snug. Tighten the fix nut by rotating it to the right. Afterwards, do a quick inspection, making sure everything's nice and tight and you should be good to go. And that's how to use the waterproofing parts on the Topo Color Pro outdoor camera. Leave a like if the video helped you out and consider watching our other videos on the Topo Color Pro series.